Good morning, pets. Excuse me, I just was eating something. Bitches and losers. How the fuck is everybody? Um, ugh. It's Saturday. And I'm going to Nashville uh, after work. I'm getting off work early. So, um, I can get up to Nashville. So, I'm looking forward to that. I get to go see my BFF. I always say some sub needs to pay for a double session with her and I. She's fucking brutal. She's not like a professional dom or anything, but that bitch, she is no joke. She is definitely a dominant female. She's funny. I love her. But anyways, I'm going to Nashville just for the weekend, get away, you know, fucking change of scenery, I'm not sitting in the house. It's Memorial weekend. It's like everybody thinks the whole world's open up. Not really, but you know. Also, I'm gonna do her and her daughter's hair and just do shit, chill with some friends. So I definitely am not most likely gonna be doing videos because uh, her daughter's around and I probably am not going to be on Twitter and shit like that. Not that I have been a lot. But um, anywho, I want to say thank you to all of you that have sent the kind words about my last video. And um, there's a couple words, uh, comments I want to address. I get this, uh, I don't know, every now and then somebody's like, oh my God, you're driving so fast. Be careful. You make me nervous. Um, honestly, I completely appreciate your um, concern, but I'm really not driving so fast. Maybe because you're watching the video, it seems like I'm driving fast, but I'm not. There are too many fucking cops out here, and I have a perfect driving record, and I ain't getting no damn ticket. So I'm really not driving that fast. I'm going the speed limit, if maybe a teeny bit over. So I appreciate the concern. But I think it's just viewing the video, it may look like I'm going really fast. I'm not. So there's that. So I'm safe, don't worry, and I pay attention. Um, the last thing I want to do is kill myself doing one of these videos. Ugh. Uh, another is, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have been extremely positive about my last video. Um, yeah, you know, I was just kind of like, fuck it, I'll put it out there. Mm, I haven't, nobody's either had the balls <laughs> or, uh, uh, to comment, uh, negatively on it or now watch, I'll get a slew of fucking shit comments. But, um, I mean, here's the thing. It always cracks me up. People that do make negative comments on, um, my videos, I'm like, well, how the fuck did you get here anyways? Because my videos, especially in the title, I always usually put like fem, femdom, fendom, something in there, you know, about, um, so you're obviously either searching for it or you're curious about it. And if you're curious about it and then you figure out you don't like it, that's fine move the fuck on. So I just always find it really funny when people, um, I mean, they're just trolls. You have, to, that's all I guess I can say for people that sit there and throw shade and hate is you're a fucking troll. Um, I've said it so many times that there, trust me, there's a lot of shit out on the, you know, fucking internet and YouTube and everything that I watch. And I'm just like, ugh. I think it's fucking retarded or fucking ridiculous or just dumb and, you know, but you know what I do? I move the fuck on. I don't even comment. I'm just like, I don't even give like thumbs down on shit unless it's just, it's very rare if I ever give a thumbs down on something. Um, unless I just think it is fucking boring as fuck. Like, <laughs> Uh, somebody I know is trying to do like a vlog and, uh, I was watching one of his videos and, oh my God, it was so just, it was so fucking boring. I'm like, dude, this is why, 
so yeah, I gave it a thumbs down. And it was more about boredom. Maybe if he fucking sees that shit, you know, he'll fucking spice it up because his other videos are pretty good, but that one was just like, what the fuck, you know? But, you know, people give me thumbs down too. I don't care. I don't pay attention. Like I say, it's funny because it just drives traffic to your fucking site whenever somebody like interacts with you, whether it be positive or negative. But anyways, um, yeah, I saw one, um, one of the lovely ladies commented like now, you know, people don't give her shit that, you know, just because you did porn, you can't be into BDSM or something like that. Excuse me if I'm not quoting it exactly right. I'm so much better today. I was so fucking tired yesterday. I slept like the dead last night. So anyways, um, but anyways, the whole thing, like, um, me getting into adult films, is I always had kind of a kink side to me as far as BDSM goes, but I really didn't know people in in it, so you know. Uh -oh. And that's how I met people was through that. Yes, you could definitely meet people outside of porn and BDSM and stuff like that, but that's how I met you know the guy who uh, I dated and then he mentored me and everything like that. So I think it's retarded if anybody thinks that just because you did one or the other, like I know there's a lot of girls that are dancers and they're doms and you know, are into BDSM. So I don't see, I just think the adult industry may uh, expose you more to certain types of lifestyles. So, um, and you either discover you like it or you don't. I mean, here's the thing. It, it cracks me up. When people do adult films, they dance or whatever, either you enjoy it or you don't. And if you don't, they fake it till they make it or they fake it just to get that fucking check, whatever. And sorry guys, but yeah. I was never one of those that would sit there and be like, oh my God, yes, I love my job. I love, uh, in porn, it's just like, I enjoyed working with some people and some people, and I mean like crew, directors, talent, whole nine yards. Some, some shoots were a lot of fun. Some were just like, ugh, here we go again. Sorry. You know, I get it that it's a whole fantasy and shit, but I think it's also important for people to understand that the people that do these um, movies are also real people, and it's a fucking job. And no, I never thought I would ever do it. Um, I totally got into it for the money. Did I enjoy it? Sometimes I did. Sometimes I didn't. You know, it's like any other job. Eh, not really like any other job. I mean, it is... When I was in, it also was extremely more tabooed and you were basically frowned upon. Now, if people get in adult films, it's like, oh, okay. You know, it's like no big deal. Like, when I was in, you didn't have a damn porn star on every corner in the fucking valley, San Fernando Valley. <laughs> if you guys are into porn, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, it was a very different time. I'm so happy that I got in when I did. I don't know how girls do it now and the, ugh, the treatment and the money's just not the same and the shit you have to do. I had a girl uh, comment saying, if you do FinDom, do you have to be nude? No, not at all. Actually, if you're just a true financial dominatrix, you don't do shit. They just fucking pay your ass and you just tell them what you want paid and stuff like that. So, keep watching my videos, babe. Um, I've gone over that. You know, I, 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 I really, and I say this over and over and over, I feel like a lot of you just fucking pick and choose my videos. It's the videos I get the most most views on her, of course, like advice to new uh, femdom, femdoms, and the, uh, my last video about the, the porn thing, it's, I knew, I knew it, I was like, you put the word porn in there, people were like, ah, um, but, yeah, some of my videos, I get it, I just fucking ramble, and I'm just like, oh, 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 
Uh, and you might be like, well, that was fucking a waste of my time. I get it. Then fast forward. But I go over, it's, I get asked the same questions over and over and over again. And I don't want to be rude, but I think I talk about shit like multiple times because people don't go back and watch my videos. I don't know how many videos I have. I know I have a lot. How many do I have? See, I'm totally not fucking paying attention. I still have like one or two videos I need to edit with me and the redhead queen down DS. Uh, I did a, uh, whatchamacallit, interview with her. So, yeah, I need to definitely um, finish those. I just haven't been in the right mental state to do it. It's, uh, you know. That's the thing. It's like all of this is on my time. I'm lucky. Like I said, I, this is not my living. That, you know, I don't make my living doing this shit. So if motherfuckers don't pay me, I don't give two fucks. Now that motherfucker was going fast. Um, so, you know, everything's kind of on my time. I, I'm trying to get other shit going. This whole fucking crazy COVID shit really made, like, if we shut down again, I mean, everything seems great. Uh, fingers fucking crossed. But if we shut down again, I might not have a job to come back to. And then I'm like, fuck. And was like, oh, then you can do this full time. Uh, mm. I was really happy when I got out of the adult industry, like all of it. And I'm not looking to get back into it like a full-time thing. The reason I do these videos and I'm on Twitter and shit like that is because I'm, I'm liking my, you know, it's an outlet that I'm able to... Um, feel my femdom side, you know, my dominant side, and, uh, because I don't do that in my vanilla life and shit like that, so, it, for me, it's more of an outlet, and if I make money at it, awesome, um, if I don't, then whatever, I'm not fucking, you know, whatever, but yeah, I guess, you know, I could do more, I just, ugh. I'm old, I'm fucking old, nobody wants to see these old titties. See, you guys think I go fast, and these motherfuckers are flying by me. I'm going like 65, 70, so, you know, speed limit's 65. Trust me, I do not want to die in a fiery crash of hell. Um, but, yeah, so, I'm, I'm really trying to get, like, my eBay business together and sell stuff, because who fucking knows what the fuck is going to happen? I hope that the numbers stay the same and the cases stay the same and shit doesn't get bad. I hope in, like, flu season, it, it, it shit doesn't spike. We don't get another huge wave. The main thing, like, with this COVID stuff, um, if you're not educated on it, you should educate yourself and not through some fucking conspiracy th sites. Like, some guys, like, you could die wearing a mask because you're breathing in your own C2O. Oh, shut the fuck up, you fucking morons. If you guys really think that, you're a fucking moron. I don't give a fuck if you, you know. That is just retarded. So, like, those NICU nurses that wear masks for, like, their entire shift, I don't see them fucking keeling over. Or doctors that do, like, major sh surgeries that last forever. I don't see them keeling over. So, stop being fucking stupid. It's fucking propaganda, like, for people think this is a whole conspiracy theory. People died. I had friends that died and got sick from this. So, you know, everybody can go fuck themselves um, if they think it's bullshit. I'm thinking maybe during flu season, uh, like, people are going to be more apt to wear masks and stuff like that. That's why they do it in Asia, um, because they're so compacted in. It's, I thought... I went over this before. I thought they did it because of pollution. Because in China, like in Shanghai and stuff like that, or Beijing, I mean, um, the pollution is so bad. So I was like, yeah, I can see why they wear a fucking mask. But I guess also it's because you're so fucking on top of each other over there. Um, if somebody gets sick, it's kind of just 
Like if everybody's wearing a mask, the germs don't spread as much. That's what wearing a mask is about, is not spreading your germs. And I never want to be sick and get somebody else sick. So if everybody just wears a fucking mask, if you don't wear a mask, I stay the fuck away from you. I'm like, eh, stay away from me. So just be smart. Don't make this a fucking, you know, this whole thing about politics. It's not about fucking politics. This is about science. This is about like, this is a virus that is fucking brutal. Um, some people don't have symptoms. Some people, it's just like a bad cold. Some people, it's like the fucking flu, you know, a million times. So just, you know, come on. This whole like, I don't believe this. Okay. Well, then go out and, you know, have somebody cough. Go, go to a COVID, uh, go to the hospital and go into the COVID area and see how much you don't believe it. It's not like the flu. You know, you die alone and it's not a fun death. So I just, I don't know. I'm very sensitive about it. So, you know, when you lose friends and you think about how they died and nobody was there with them, that's just sad. Family couldn't even see him. And one guy was like 35 and perfectly good health until he caught it. You probably should have went to the hospital sooner, but you know, he wasn't high risk as far as like age and health and everything like that. Then I had another friend who passed and trust me, he was extremely high risk and we were like, bitch, get to the hospital. And he didn't last, but like maybe four days. So, um, yeah, I had a client be like, God, you talk about it so stoically. And I'm just like, trust me, I, you know, I, I can't cry anymore about shit. I'm just angry more so about shit that this whole thing became a political agenda. So it just pisses me off. This should have never fucking politics should have never really entered into this and our government should have acted quick and just fucking nip the shit in the bud. So um yeah. That's how I feel about it. And if you don't agree with me, I don't give two fucks. You can basically um, go fuck yourself. What's funny is, I don't know, did I tell you guys I got a tooth pulled a while ago and I'm supposed to get a bridge? And when I watch my videos every now and then, I can see like my uh, white trash looking <laughs> gap in my, uh, not having a tooth. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to get my uh, tooth, you know, replaced. Uh, and because of all this, I gotta walk around and be like, hey, I don't have my teeth. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't about to do like a full, uh, shit, I'm glad I didn't start it because if I w wasn't like gonna get the tooth pulled, I would have had to get like a, full on um, root canal and then do a cat, like, yeah. And I probably would not have finished it. So anywho, um, my dentist, I just saw a, uh, I just saw, whatchamacallit, I just saw a uh, email from them saying that they are gonna be opening. Um, and yeah, like my, my job also is, uh, my, well, what I'm getting is more cosmetic. So it's not like, <laughs> you know, like all the other people that really need. So I think they're kind of doing like people that need to get root canals and stuff like that. They're the ones that are, um, they're the ones that are, uh, first come first serve. So yeah, I need to get my tooth. <sighs> oh, fuck my life. God, I have no idea how much that's going to cost. <laughs> A lot. It's going to be, I think it's, I think she's told me like 600 bucks. Uh, who wants to pay for my tooth? Come on, motherfuckers. Well, I gotta wipe off my lipstick so you guys can watch. Oh, fuck! And go to the goddamn post office. Shit, I'm supposed to go to the post office. Now, I'm leaving early. I'll drop it by then. So, only time I wear lipstick is for you guys. It makes me feel pretty. Um. Anyways, you guys be safe out there. Honestly... I know I might come across as some hard-ass fucking uncaring bitch at times. 
but I really do. I, I care about uh, every, uh, I care about people that are good people. If you're not a good person, you can go fuck yourself. Yes. New mask. Um, my friend made a bunch of masks. I actually will have some, I think I'm going to, um, I'm selling them for her. So I am, um, I have a couple, I think I'm going to list on my eBay for her and, uh, she's a bartender and she's not working and she hasn't gotten a stimulus check and she hasn't fucking got unemployment. So she only sells the masks for like 11 bucks. That's all she wants. I think I'm going to sell them for like 15, $16 because of shipping and stuff, maybe even 14 bucks because shipping really shouldn't be that much. It should be like a couple bucks. But, um, if you guys are interested, uh, she has some really cute patterns. Um, so I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. They're great and they're super comfortable. They fit really good. They have a wire thing here, but anywho, and I think like most of the time I can wear my glasses and they don't, if I pinch it just right, they don't steam up on me. All right, guys. Have a safe weekend. Um, I will be posting next week. Um, yeah. And uh, you motherfuckers, tribute.